Captain Video operates from a mountain retreat with secret agents at all points of the globe. Possessing scientific secrets and scientific weapons, Captain Video asks no quarter and gives none to the forces of evil. Stand by for Captain Video! Video Rangers, you'll remember that some startling developments took place on two planets many light years apart. On Metastheros, you saw Captain Video preside over an interplanetary meeting, and you watched him give Sita of Mars a few lessons in the art of physical combat. Meanwhile, back on Earth, you saw Dr. Pauly in action again, making his sinister plots to rule the world. Now let's get right into today's story as we go to the headquarters of Hermes Lycos on Metastheros. How's that feel, Captain? Tight? Yeah, that's all right, Ranger. After you get through that, will you do a little something with these knuckles? Boy, you're going to use that hand, boy. Yes. Well, now that we've settled our personal differences, suppose we get down to business. That suits me fine. I've had all I want of personal business. Yes, I should think so, Peter. Yes. <laughs> Hermes. What do you suggest is the correct treatment for Tursen? Well, Captain, we feel that the permanent regulations must be applied. To what extent? Well, to begin with, occupation of Tursen by the permanent police. Also, all communication with other planets to be subjected to strict censorship. And trade with other planets to be restricted. Oh, tough, isn't it? What else? Well, a change in the position of the firmament to an orbit that can be kept under constant watch. Naturally, all weapons of Tursen to be confiscated and destroyed. Really Each fast. Tursenarian will be required to spend a full-time cycle in farm labor. The products to be given to a peaceful planet. Right? Right. Sounds a little tough to me. The regulations are just. It's what we've done for eons. Well, gentlemen, all I know is that if you want to create everlasting hatred, it's to make slaves of your defeated enemy. And that's all that these terms would accomplish, the way I see it. Well, then, what you seem to be in favor of is uh, Earth policy, eh, Captain Video? To a degree, yes, I do. Well, Captain, what do you suggest we do? I suggest a much more moderate policy. Tursen's a defeated enemy, yes, but don't forget she's a member of the same firmament. We all are, for that matter. Just a second. I don't like this business about confiscating the weapons. For years, Mars has had a very profitable trade agreement with uh, war materials with Tursen. <coughs> I withdraw the state. Uh, but, <laughs> As he grows older, Sita grows wiser. <laughs> well, I suppose we all sit down. Yes. Oh, yes. Let us. Now, I suggest a much more moderate policy. Why wouldn't it be perfectly reasonable to give a person a new place in the orbit? Let her have room to expand, room to breathe, as Regis put it. Captain Video, they'll think it a sign of weakness. I don't think they will, Ventura. They will, uh, they'll misinterpret it if they do. Don't forget that we're still strong enough to give orders and see that they're carried out. What do you say, Fermis? I'm with you, Captain. What say you all? Agreed. Agreed. Ventura? Agreed. Good. What do you say to this plan, Captain? You and the video ranger go to Tursen as our ambassador of goodwill. There you can bring our decision to Regis himself, and then return here with any further recommendations he might care to make. That's all right with me. I'd be perfectly happy to do it, if it's all right with you, gentlemen. Why, Good. Fine. How about you, ranger? It's okay with me, sir. All right. Splendid. Metasiris. Calling Tursen, Hermes Lycos, calling Regus of Tursen. Regus in demand. This is Regus of Tursen. 
Vegas, Captain Video and the Video Ranger are coming to visit you to bring our decision and will act as our special emissary. I shall welcome your Captain Video. This is Regis signing off. Hermes Lycos signing off. Did you hear that signal? Captain Video is coming here. We must have a plan. We must set a trap for him. We must never see that beautiful earth of his again. We'd have had Metaspheros right now if it hadn't have been for him. And I know what their terms will be. Yes. Yes, so do I. An abject surrender. Slave labor. For that fat Hermes of Jupiter. To make them all the fatter. Well, I won't put up with it. I would rather die first than see Tusson destroyed. Captain Video will undoubtedly arrive in an orbit control rocket. Yes. And he will land at the usual stage. Perhaps we can arrange a surprise for him. <laughs> Captain Video, may I speak with you for a moment? Certainly. I would like to have you pay me a visit on Mars. I'd certainly be very happy to do that. Uh, why, in particular, would you like me to come there? I'd like you to teach my soldiers how to kill men with their bare fists. Oh, no. See that? <laughs> Never lead with your right. You're a sucker for a right cross. I see. <laughs> You know, Sita, on Earth we consider boxing a, a sport. It teaches you uh, how to defend yourself, teaches you good sportsmanship, teaches you skill. Teaches you how to avoid right crosses, too, huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, one thing more. No mention must be made of our little match on Mars. Don't worry. This is strictly between you and me. <laughs> An excellent conference. Uh, one trouble with it, though. It kept me from these luscious Jupiter grapes. <laughs> well, farewell, Hermes. Farewell. Farewell, Premier oh, Blackhawk. Yes. Farewell, Ventura. Farewell, Ranger. Right. Sita? And now? We must make some necessary arrangements for your trip to Turson. Well, first, I'd like to contact Earth. I'd like to tell them what's been going on here. Yeah, I'd like to find out what's been going on down there. So would I, Ranger. Well, tell me, do you wish to use the rocket technique, Captain, or rely on the time lapse for a voice message? I think the rocket would be much faster and much more efficient. I know the exact trajectory, anyway. And I'd like to send a message to Commissioner Bell and one to uh, the laboratory as well. Ready? I feel like a million dollars. Never mind, bring me any mess. And uh, incidentally, I've had news from Blakesley. He's hot on the trail of Dr. Park. Ah, good man, that Blakesley. Even with all his yoikes and pip pips and so on. <laughs> and Commissioner Bell? Oh, it's better to haul the record. Say, uh, you heard anything from Captain Video? Wouldn't you like to know? Now listen to me, that broadcast you made was a phony, Commissioner. You told the people that Captain Video and the range are still alive. They'd soon appear in person. That's right. Ah, uh, well, I happen to know that's impossible. I checked all the astronomical sources, and that planet Metaspheros can't even be seen. You know, Mike Collins going to say that you've rigged up identical doubles for Captain Video and the Ranger, too. And that you'll show these doubles to all the people, just to delude them. You know that you're right, Hall. Except that we didn't hire doubles. We hired the twin brothers of the captain and the ranger. Why, you, you, ma <coughs> Commissioner Bell calling Jordan, identifying numeral 704. Come in, Jordan. Uh, Jordan, station one, numerals 104. Go ahead, Commissioner. Jordan, I've only had one rocket message from Captain Video. Have there been any more? No, Commissioner, but our instruments are registering the same electric charge that they showed before the first rocket landed. Now, that should mean that another rocket is on the way. Good, then uh, contact me, Jordan, uh, when it lands. I certainly will. Jordan, signing off. Commissioner Bell, signing off. 
We'll return to Captain Video in one minute. You know, Video Rangers, if you ask almost anybody, who was Betsy Ross? Quick as a wink, they'll tell you why she made the first American flag. But how many of us know anything at all about George Ross, Betsy's uncle by marriage? Well, George Ross was one of the signers of our Declaration of Independence. One of the men who was willing to risk charges of treason and death, if need be, to preserve the rights and privileges of his countrymen. Well, many times we take these hard-fought-for privileges, our American heritage of freedom of thought and action, for granted. They are so much a part of us that we feel they never could be taken away. But in the world today, there are those who would destroy our American heritage, who would tear down our ideals, trample underfoot the flag that came into being under the skillful fingers of Betsy Ross. So let's be alert and realize as Americans that freedom is everybody's job, Video Rangers. Now let's get back to our story. As communications rockets flashed with the speed of light between Metasteros and Earth, the remote carrier beam was functioning swiftly too, as it brought Captain Video's special agent into sharp focus. What's happened here? I reckon you know it, you wouldn't be here. Which one of you is Turner? I'm Turner. The Callahan girl brought word that a fella named the Whistler murdered Jerry Blake. There's a few things wrong with those remarks. In the first place, Miss Callahan never said it was murder. And in the second place, my name Never is... mind that. You killed a man. The sheriff called it murder, and I call it murder, and we hang murders in this county. Now, what do you think of that? No use getting hard about it. You're a posse, not a legend, Mom. And the sheriff here is an officer of the law. The sheriff will do what I say. I'm running this. I've sort of figured that way. All right, what's next? Unbuckle your gun belt, Mr. U.S. Marshal. So you know me. Yeah, we know you all right. But no one can ever prove we knew you to be anything but a murder resistant arrest. You'll never take my guns except in smoke. No, no. The six rifles out there draw a beat on you right now. Only six. Well, I thought there must be a dozen of them, judging by the noise they made blundering through the brush. Well, I reckon you've got me. Drop that gun. Tell your friends behind me not to move, or you four will drop. Don't worry, Whistler. If one of them should move, his light will go out quick. Drop those guns, you hombres. them horses and get out in the open. That'll be far enough. March on down there. Pronto! Yes. This is Victor, Dr. Pauley. Yes, yes. I've completed the atomic disintegrator according to the plans you gave me. Well, then, bring it in. I want it immediately. Why waste my time with telephone calls? This is Dr. Pauley. This 
is Dr. Polly. That works. Ah, yes. My ultraplanetary transmitter is a success, as I knew it would be. Yes, now. Now to fill the whole sky until contact with Ultima Orions is established. This is Dr. Polly calling Ultima Orions in the outer limits. Dr. Polly to Ultima Orions. Captain Video and the Video Ranger, come here quickly. What is it, Perry? Listen. This is Dr. Polly calling Ultima Orions in the outer limits. This is Dr. Polly to Ultima Dr. Orions. Polly, I wonder what's happened to Blakely. Well, Dr. Polly's alive and on the loose again, sir. We better call off this trip to Tursen. No, Ranger, we'll still go to Tursen. Blakely hasn't let us down yet. Excuse me. Yes? Interplanetary strip reporting. A rocket from Earth has just landed. Bring it here as soon as it cools. It will be brought. Right. Well, we'll have to wait and see what's in this rocket. It's probably an answer from Commissioner Bell. Well, how about your trip to Tursen, Captain? Well, it won't take long before that rocket cools. We'll be able to read the message right away. Go ahead, call Regis and tell him we're starting right away. Right. Hermes Lycos calling. Regis of Tursen. Hermes Lycos calling. Regis of Tursen. Regis in demand. This is Regis of Tursen. Regis, Captain Video and the Video Ranger will be on their way to you within a half a time cycle. Excellent. I shall see that a proper welcome is prepared for Captain Video. What means of transportation are they going to use? in one of my orbit control units. Excellent. Excellent. I shall be certain to treat Captain Video as he deserves to be treated. This is Regis of Tursen signing off. This is Permis Lycos signing off. Hi. Hi. The Adams calling Earth in the eighth time cycle. Moral to Dr. Pauly, respond. This is Dr. Pauly. I am receiving you. Good. I am Moral, Chief of the Army of Ultima Oren. Ah, yes. Ultima Oren welcomes this contact with you, Dr. Pauly. She would speak to you personally, but she is busy with interplanetary affairs. Yes, I see, I see. Tell me, what have you learned about the planet Metasteros? Metasteros? Firm in its orbit, safe from attack. What? I, my first report told me that it had been blasted. On the contrary, Dr. Pauly. From what we have heard over the ultra short wave, it is Tursen that is in great danger through the intervention of Captain Video. Uh, Captain Video! That is what I wanted to talk to Ultima about. I wish to visit her. Perhaps I can help her annex Metasaurus. And Tyson and kill Captain Video as we do it. Ultima Orion will welcome your visit. Excellent. Excellent. I shall use atomic disintegration, same as I did the last time. Good. I will switch on the atom collector. You will be reassembled whenever you wish. Ah, excellent, excellent. Everything is ready here on Earth. I will wait until the sun is at its zenith. No. You had better wait until the sun has reached the focal point of its orbit, Dr. Pauly. Otherwise, the intense heat will scatter your atoms beyond hope of reassembly. Ah, yes, yes. Good. Then signal me when everything is ready. Understood. Moral signing off. Dr. Pauly, signing off. Ah, how is Captain Video going to feel? When he learns that I, Dr. Foley, his bitterest enemy, has also reached the outer limits. <laughs> we'll get back to Captain Video in one minute. Rangers ever tackle a job you really look forward to doing?
Oh boy, you say, rubbing your hands together, that's for me, that's right up my alley. Well, there's one big job that's right up everybody's alley, Rangers. That's the job of fighting discrimination. Seeing to it that the next fellow gets a fair chance, regardless of his race or religion. We've all got a talent for that, if we know how to use it. It comes under the heading of friendship. When we like people and are genuinely interested in them, there's no room for an American prejudice. So all we have to do is to keep on making new friends. Easy as pie. There's another reason why fighting discrimination ought to be up everybody's alley, because those who turn thumbs down on one race or religion one day are just as apt to turn against another race or religion another day. Yours maybe, who knows? So when you fight for an equal chance for everyone in your club, on your team, in jobs of all kinds, you're fighting your own battle too, Rangers. Now back to Captain Video. As Dr. Pauly spun his sinister plots, back at the Mountain Laboratory, the scanning equipment showed other plots and other intrigue as Captain Video's special agent battled for his life. too, Tommy. He's the big boss. We'll let him lead the parade. back to town. You can't get away with this fella. Get going or I'll make you double time it. Uh, don't yank. Shut up. Hey, mister, I can't walk the town. I got fallen arches. Captain. That must be the rocket message now. Thank you, Belusa. Here we are, Captain. Right. A little bit worse for wear, but... Mm. Oh, it's from Commissioner Bell, all right. What does he say? He congratulates us. He wants us to get home right away. Because the press is after him. Oh, really? As it always is. He says Dr. Pauly is causing trouble again. Well, Blake he can take care of Dr. Pauly, can he? He's going to have to, Ranger. He get back. Send uh, Mr. Bell a reply again. Yeah? And tell him. It's a little difficult to write with this. Right. These knuckles. They're pretty tight. Tell him that Blakesley he's to refer everything to Blakesley until we get back. Now, Permis, will your rocket launching department get this off right away? 
I will attend to it myself, Captain. All right. And while you're doing that, do you mind if I contact orbit control? Oh, you did not ask, Captain. My laboratory and everything in it is completely yours. All right. Well, Ranger, we're going to have to make this a short trip to Thurston, because I also want to stop off at the planet Mars. I want to st study the structure of that planet. And teach C to the old one, too, huh? <laughs> Maybe we can. Captain Video to orbit control. Come in, orbit control. Captain orbit. Video calling orbit control. Control, orbit control, reporting to Captain Video. Everything's set for our trip? Everything is ready, Captain. The rocket is fueled and waiting for you. All right, we'll be right there. That's all, Captain Video signing off. Orbit control signing off. Okay, Ranger, let's go. Off to Thursday. <laughs> right. Ah, signal. Trap for Captain Video set. Everything is ready, Ranger. Good. And we'd best be off to the landing stage. And signal. Remember, be sure to act casually, as if there was nothing the matter at all. You don't want them to suspect a thing. By the way, Reagan, I just overheard an ultra-short wave message from someone named Dr. Pauly, who is trying to reach Ultima Aureus. Dr. Pauly. Dr. Of course. I know that name. He's the Earth man who managed to make the interplanetary passage by disintegration. Ultima Aureus, of course. That's who should be here when Captain Video arrives. Yes. Contact her immediately. Tell her that I want her here as soon as she possibly can. Yes. <laughs> we shall not only set a trap for Captain Video, we shall have some fun. Tell her to be sure to, to disguise herself. Disguise herself so completely that not even Captain Video and his ranger will recognize her. <laughs> Person to the outer limit, the seventh time cycle. Signum calling Ultima Aurea. Things are really starting to happen now, Video Rangers. Will the fabulous Ultimate Aureans come to Tursen? And will Captain Video pierce her disguise and avoid the cunning trap that's been set for him? Well, we'll have the answers to those questions next time we meet Video Rangers. So stand by until then, when it'll be the same time, same station for... Played by Richard Coogan, video ranger by Don Hastings, Dr. Bali by Hal Conklin. Captain Video is written by M.C. Brock and directed by Larry White. Your announcer has been Fred Scott. This is